Hello and welcome back. This video is going to cover adding grippers to your robot in the Mitsubishi RT Toolbox 3 software. There are two options that you have in terms of being able to create a gripper for the robot. The first option is to generate the gripper within the tools provided in the software. Those tools are primitives based, so you have cones and cylinders, hexahedrons, triangular prisms, tubes, and by changing the size, changing the truncation, color, and then placement, you can generate a very good representation of the grippers that you actually have in real life. You can also add a part to your gripper. So in the open state, you would not have the part displayed. Whereas in the closed state, you would show the gripper and the part. For doing your simulation, this allows for a much more polished and realistic representation. The other advantage of having the part attached to the gripper is that when you run your simulation, if you turn on the collision detection, it will detect if the part is hitting something that it shouldn't. The second option you have for creating grippers within the software is to go to something like the Vention website or into NX or AutoCAD or Fusion 360 or whatever CAD application you want to use and creating the model there and then exporting it. Just like with the general workstation, you are limited in what file types can be imported. And so you'll probably have to convert it into an STL file if you can't go directly to that. One of the downsides of the Vention interface is that it does not currently support STL out. Um, I have put in a request for that change and I believe they are considering it. Hopefully that'll happen soon. So depending on when you're watching this video, you may be able to directly export the model to an STL file. If you can't, you'll have to do that conversion after the fact. You can also go to the websites for a lot of components. And as an example, one of the grippers we have in the lab is an SMC brand MHZ2 gripper. And if you go to their website and you scroll down far enough, you will eventually see an option for CAD downloads, and that will allow you to generate an STL or a step file that could then be converted to STL as well. Once you have your gripper, you can then add that into the RT Toolbox software. So as you can see, I have RT Toolbox 3 open, and I'm in this simulation with the 3D monitor open. To add a hand, click on the robot in the layout tree, and you can add a hand here and you can give it a name. You can select the hand you want to work with and it'll bring up the dialog box with any hands that have been previously defined. Or you can go to the hand file manager up in the ribbon bar, gets you to the same place, but we'll go back here and I'm going to add new demo hand. We're gonna edit that file and we can close this dialog box. And you'll see here that I have the hand edit tree. I have the tool center point that has already been added. I can add an object. And I don't want to do a column initially. I'm going to use a tube with an inner radius of 15 millimeters, an outer radius of 25 millimeters. And the height is fine there. And so there's my tube. I can change the color if I want. I can then add another object and this is going to be the suction cup. I could have labeled the other one as well. And my upper radius is going to be 50. My lower radius is going to be the same as my outside diameter of my pipe, so that's 25. And I'm going to set a height of, let's try 7 millimeters, see if we like that. So that might be a little shallow. Let's make this 15. That looks better. Now the position is wrong, 
So we can change our position. We can add 150. And I've got the 150 because if we come up here and let's go ahead and name this while we're at it. Our pipe is 150 tall. So there's our suction cup, there's our pipe. That is the gripper we're gonna use. The last thing I need to do is move my tool center point up. Let's see, 150 plus 25 is 175. How tall did I make my suction cup? 15, not that, okay. That should be 165, sorry. And you'll notice if you've done it right, your tool center point, half of it should be embedded in the suction cup itself. And I could have made the suction cup hollow or whatever. It's not really that important. Um, I'm gonna save this. I can close that. Then if I come up here, select demo hand, okay. Now our gripper is attached to the robot. And if I move the robot around, my gripper moves with it. And if I turn on the interference check, I can tell when the gripper hits something. So let's go to there, that's good enough. And so now, as soon as that hit there, my gripper turned red. If I want to add an existing model of a hand, I can come in here. Same thing, we're gonna add a new hand again. We're gonna do the Vention one. We're gonna edit the hand file. I can go away for a moment. We're gonna add an object. 3D model. Come out here, go to our file. And once we remember where we put the file, Ah, Miss B. So there we go. So here's my gripper that I created previously. Down there, unfortunately, that's fine. That's just a function of where where the origin in the CAD file was. But we can fix all that in here. We're gonna rotate around X. So there's, that's good. And we're gonna shift it Y 500. Nope, negative 500. So that's closer. And this will take a little bit of practice and experimentation until you're happy with it. You do really want to make this as accurate as possible. I'm going to change that color so it's a different color from the line. That'll make that easier, a little bit easier. A little too dark. There we go. All right, so I'm now on center line there. 
I want to go to the center line this way. Pick a direction. That looks like it is centered. Uh, the last thing I want to do is, oops, this is upside down, however. So let's change that to 270. And we'll make that guy positive. You'll notice it is in line there so let's bump it in the right direction we're going to do this as negative 200 nope 200 positive 200 too much 100 and a lot of this is just like i said practice trial and error you'll have to if you know where the origin and you can control where the origin of your imported file is. That makes this a lot easier, but you want to get that surface down to there. Um, so that looks pretty good. All right, so I'm happy with my location. I will want to set my tool center point again. And let's go 100. Whoops. Didn't mean to go zooming all the way over there. And you'll need to decide on, as an example for this guy, is my tool center point on the top surface of these suction cups? Or in this case, when they get sucked down a little bit, I'm going to estimate that that is where they'll suck down to when they grab the part. And so now... I can set that and I'm happy there. We're going to save that. And come back out to here. I am going to create another one. And I can do the exact same thing as I did on the last one. Actually, let's close that. One of the things you can do is go into the hand. If I copy that, When I open up the second hand, you'll notice I've got all the information. So I can edit that some more. I can then add another object. And this time, I'm going to add my sample part. And what I'm going to do is place it up on top of the suction cups.
And you'll notice I've got a slight interference there. That's fine. Um, I can set that so if I wanted to, I could create a version of the suction cups with them retracted, but I'm not going to. Uh, there, there are limits to how far it, it practically makes sense to go. We need to move this somewhat. And it looks like I should rotate this 90 degrees that way as well because of that direction. All right. Um, 100. Much like before, this is just a matter of trial and error. If you have all of the dimensions handy, it helps, but you don't have to have them. So, we're close here. Um, part needs to move. That looks pretty good. And we'll go negative 100. Oops. Positive 100. All right. So if I'm happy with that <coughs> location, and I am, I can save that. And so we have the demo hand, we're gonna get rid of the demo hand. Yes. And as you can see, I'm able to move the robot around as if the part was being held by the gripper. Hopefully this has made sense. Thanks for now.